एवरीवन माय नेम इज देवशीश एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो सो आई एम अपलोडिंग दिस वीडियो आफ्टर क्वाइट लॉन्ग टाइम इन दिस चैनल सो आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी फॉर दैट आई एज नॉट एबल टू एकोमोडेट टाइम फॉर मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन दिस चैनल सो सॉरी अबाउट दैट इन टूडेज वीडियो वे आर गो यू नो प्ले अराउंड विद दिस हाइप टूल कॉल चैट जी पी टी विच आई एम पिन यूजिंग यू नो इन सम ऑफ माई डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज एज वेल एंड इन सम प्लेस आई एम फाइंडिंग इट रियली यूजफुल uh so there can be many use cases in infosec uh, of chat gpt so one of the use cases uh, you know i thought of actually trying today is you know if we can seek help from chat gpt to you know, help us uh, do you know secure code review um so i have actually couple of codes listed here uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, submit this code into chat gpt uh, and i'll see if chat gpt can help me find out the security problems in this code so i'm going to start with this one okay uh can you tell me if following code is code has any security problem Let's paste it. Let's see what it has to say. The free version of ChatGPT actually takes uh, quite a lot. Okay, it's saying something. The code you provided does not appear to have any significant security problem by itself. Simply extract the value from the URL and display. Uh, however, the security implication depends on the value of context. Okay, that makes sense. Parameter and how it is used elsewhere. if the context parameter is used to perform sensitive action or access sensitive data without proper authentication authorization this code could be potentially used to manipulate or access the data additionally if context parameter is not properly validated or sanitized it could be vulnerable to injection attacks such as cross site scripting attack so i think sql injection is it is also sus, uh, suspecting but it is not vulnerable to sql injection since it's a javascript code so the code is basically vulnerable to dom based cross site scripting uh, okay what i am going to do is i'm going to tell him this code is vulnerable to dom based xss I'm actually telling him that you know it's actually vulnerable. Uh, let's see what he has. Yes, you are correct. The code you provided is vulnerable to DOM-based cross-site scripting attack. Okay, this is. I'm just giving this information to ChatGPT, and it is giving me some prevention steps as well. Cool. I don't need this information at this moment. Uh, okay. Now I'll ask. Uh, can you? fix the dom based xss in above code let's see if it can uh, rewrite the code and you know fix the dom based cross site scripting vulnerability yes i can let's see what it it has to say interesting instead of using document or write to display the context parameter on the page you can use text content to safely display the parameter value let's see okay i think it's uh interesting it's not uh, rewriting the entire code it's it has taken the code and actually you know making changes in the existing code and instead of uh, using document or write it should use text content did it actually use text content yes it did actually you know context span dot text content dot oh interesting it is able to actually you know give me the code which actually you know fixed the fix the dom based cross site scripting vulnerability so at this moment i cannot think of any uh, case uh, where actually you know if this can be bypassed or not because also i am not very familiar with web application security uh, you know and the re recent attacks and bypasses so if you are watching this video and if you feel as you know this filter can be bypassed please let me know in the comment section i would you know uh, i would you know love to hear from you 
and meanwhile i'll also you know maybe can i can you know google about it later on to kind of find out if it is actually bypassable or if it is actually legitimate uh, you know uh, fix or not okay uh, i have few more codes with me let's try that i have one more code let's see if it is able to can you tell me if there is any security problem in this code let's see what it has to say yes there is a security problem in this code the query string is constructed by concatenating input parameters which lead to SQL injection vulnerability awesome so uh, meanwhile i'm gonna quickly show you you know what problem it has it's basically you know this is vulnerable to sql injection as you can see we are actually you know crafting a uh, query um, it's a, the code is written in java and uh, here we are using username and password from the you know request parameters and we are using it raw in the sql statement so that actually you know that is making it vulnerable to sql injection so chat gpt is able to you know catch it and uh, it is able to actually you know give us a lot of information around you know how we can fix it and how the attack actually works uh, let's see if uh, i can ask chat gpt to fix this issue for me can you uh, fix this code for me certainly okay interesting it did not take much time okay it's gonna take some time i think to you know, write the entire piece of code and what i like about it is it's not actually you know rewriting the code from the scratch it's actually taking my code and you know it is able to identify the vulnerable points actually and making changes there awesome so i was pretty much shocked when i was using uh, github copilot uh, i have also made a video on my channel but you know this is far more crazier than github copilot mm -hmm. okay this is the interesting part as you can see it is uh, using the username password Okay, it's uh, generating salt I don't think the salt generation was there but you know to make the code more secure it has actually you know uh, added sorted password as well uh, I think it has learned from um, is uh, you know historical data that you know when you are actually doing a uh, login user uh, when you are actually you know doing authentication you should use uh, sorted hashes actually so that's why you know that's why it is implementing and the hashing algorithm and uh, you know adding salt into it this is awesome uh, okay oh my god this is crazy actually you know if i when i think about it you know what all things can be automated it really scare it, it is scary as well because I think uh, this is pretty new and it is capable of generating, you know, pretty solid code, uh, you know, fixing vulnerabilities in it. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe after one or two years or maybe five years, uh, I am sure it's going to reach up to a point where it can easily eliminate, you know, a lot of human efforts, uh, right? Uh, so that's quite interesting. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm quite shocked at this moment but you know i'm gonna start with i'm gonna you know give it some few more codes so this is actually uh let's see if it is able to i know this is vulnerable to double free but uh if chat gpt is able to catch it or not can you please tell me uh if this code is secure this code appears to have a security vulnerability specifically in line string copy okay 
before copying into buffer this could result a buffer workload okay if the length of the argument is greater than buffer size 1 this could allow attacker to execute arbitrary code awesome to fix this vulnerability you should add a check on the length and input argument before copying into buffer mm -hmm. additionally okay interesting you know i was uh, thinking if it is able to catch the double free issues but yeah it, it has it is able to catch it additionally you should also ensure that all memory allocated using alloc is properly freed using free to avoid memory leaks and these are actually uh, this is actually also vulnerable to a double free so this is what you know um, it did not mention it but what I can do is I can actually you know, just ask him ask chat GPT to you know uh, uh, is this code vulnerable to double free? The buffer R uh, two R one is free twice. Yeah, it is able to point it out, but initially it was not able to. But once I actually give him some pointer. Um, it is able to tell you know this uh, two buffers were actually you know free twice but this is you know it's almost like i feel like you know i'm uh, interacting to a uh, real human you know i'm taking interviews uh, the candidate is not able to answer something i'm giving it some pointer and again the you know candidate is able to you know recall something and it's giving me answers that's that's awesome okay uh, i have one more code actually i'll quickly okay let's see uh, i have this code but i'm not sure you know what vulnerability it has into it but let's see if this code secure okay uh there's a uh, i think usual issues with chat gpt nowadays whenever they experience high load okay tell me if this code is secure this code doesn't appear to be secure as it uses system function which is vulnerable to command injection attack okay this is what it is referring to awesome in addition, the code uses C style casting to cast base class pointer to greater class pointer, which can lead to undefined behavior if the cast is not valid. Ah, okay, this is actually you know for your information, this um, uh, this code is actually vulnerable to you know improper type casting, which may uh, cause actually you know type confusion uh, attack. So yeah, as you can see, it is able to uh, you know point it out uh, gracefully. C style casting it is it is using. And it has also suggested few changes okay that's amazing I think you know uh, it, it it's pretty much clear you know the use case I wanted to prove that can be used and I think you know if you are doing code review um, I think you can use chat GPT but you know be very careful when you are submitting data into it if you are uh, using uh, your company internal uh, code uh, and if you are reviewing them uh, you should not you should never post it on chat GPT because you know uh, it is it 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 also you know uh, has a security risk suppose you are submitting your code chat gpt is accepting the code and maybe it can return your code to someone else uh, because you are it is actually you know continuously learning from your input as well so that can pose a severe uh, risk to you know your organization okay uh, organization privacy and you know other stuffs uh, so the code that I have actually used here actually you know I have actually copy pasted some from some existing websites that are available to public uh, so I think you know that uh, that will be one of my you know uh, you know suggestion uh, that will be one of my advice to you if you're actually you know doing a code review for your company you should never submit your code to chat GPT uh, okay uh, I think that's all I wanted to you know uh, test in today's video and probably i'll make more videos on chat gpt in, in coming days so uh, i hope you have found this video useful so thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video bye bye